Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal O and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me about a few certain topics that are pretty relevant in my life right now and some things I just want to discuss while I get ready. So it is 4th of July. Happy fireworks day. Um, I am going to be going to like a park with my fiance to kind of just enjoy the day and enjoy the day off because Lord knows I needed it. Um, as you might know if you are already a subscriber I am a chatterbox and I love to talk so you were in for some talking but I don't know how well I'm going to do my makeup while talking so I might have to pause continue pause and continue but anyways um, we'll get to the point of it all but I'm going to do my makeup and you guys are going to be watching that right right okay because to get ready with me um, and I'll just kind of be talking through like the products that I'm using or I might just have them like um, written below so I don't kind of get distracted or go off topic while I'm like talking about something very very serious or very very um, dear to my heart because I will be talking about a couple of real things today so brace yourselves and um, enjoy this video if you are not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you want more of these videos after you're done watching it and you're like yes yes sis, you better you better do more and I will do more all right okay all right so quick uh, housewarming rolls. A few months ago I shaved off all my hair on the back. I got like this cute little um, pixie cut and then a few months after that I had to cut off the whole top because the hair damaged because of the bleach and the color that was used on it. So I kind of just restarted and did the big chop. I'm hoping to start my journey on my channel as well. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that before I started so you guys would to be like, what is going on? And today I'm just going to be wearing my hair in a like more so frontal um, natural hair look with my hat back here. That's why this is actually in the process of being curled while the back is just chilling. So anyways, I'm done talking about that and I'm going to get into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this Get Ready With Me video and the topics for this video are going to be becoming a pastor's wife and living a drama free life. What? What? That's, that's something we should all aspire to live, right? Right? Okay. All right, so first I'm gonna start off with my primer. It's a first base primer spray. I usually use this on my face before I start my makeup. So this really just helps, um, whew. <laughs> so this helps prime your face. If you have oily skin, it really helps with that. So that's good. But I'm gonna like stop talking and actually get to my topic because that's what we're here for, right? For the makeup and the topic. All right, so, um, so, 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 it's really hard to multitask while doing makeup. But anyways, so, um, becoming a pastor's wife. So if you don't know already, um, I am currently engaged um, and my fiance and I are planning to get married in the lovely month of November, 2018. So we are planning, we are so excited. And um, yeah, it's just been a lot of transitions. He just graduated with his master's in divinity, um, basically from seminary school. A lot of people always ask me, what's a master's in divinity? I'm like, bro, Google, Google it. it, Google, Google it, okay? okay? But anyways, no, it's basically seminary. Um, it's a really, 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 really intense program. I'm really proud of him for um, graduating and just, you know, doing his best and coming out um, with flying colors, okay? As my Nigerians would say, flying colors. Anyways, well, he just graduated and um, became the new college associate pastor at Antioch Community Church in Waco, Texas and over the college ministry of course. I'm excited, he's excited, we're all so 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 excited and um, it's just really been a journey for him. Like he truly did walk by faith when getting this job. He truly did walk by faith in serving and not even knowing if he was gonna have a job after grad school or not. So he is definitely faith goals because like a brother held it down while he was in grad school. I'm a planner so I like to know the next steps, like what's happening next. But like he fully trusted God and God blessed him. So he is now the new associate college pastor of the Antioch College Ministry and we are thrilled because we love Jesus, you know, we love him. So, um, becoming a pastor's wife, right? That's what we're all here for, that too. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, so I just used the contour cream kit by Anastasia Beverly Hill. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but it's by her at the top right there. Anastasia, Anastasia, 
all of them all of them okay but anyways um, I'm gonna be using my Lancome to kind of just go through my face think crystal all right breathe so he just became the associate college pastor and when he became the associate college pastor I was very very excited for him like I was like yes hunty you better you know you better but now I'm just like wait like I mean I think it has to dawn on you like wait you know like you're legit like a pastor's wife like he's on the pastoral team like you're a pastor's wife sis you know so I think when that hit me I was like wait a minute dun 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 and you know and then I just kind of was like wow like, what does this mean for me you know and of course like I'm so down I so support him and his ministry I love ministry I was in ministry I still am in ministry my life is a ministry I love Jesus so it's not really that big of a deal to me but I think that like actually like being or becoming a pastor's wife is so like just surreal and different because now we're like you know it's just a different world you know it's just a different world and I think a few fears that kind of came with that was like the standard you know like oh my gosh like can I keep up to the standard of what a pastor's wife should look like or you know can I be um what society thinks a pastor's wife is and or what if I can't live up to the, the image of a pastor's wife? What if people judge me wrongly because I don't fit that status quo? So that was really like a huge fear of mine or a huge concern. I wouldn't say fear, but it was, it was a huge concern because I felt like, man, like now I have to like, you know, like wear long, long skirts everywhere, turtlenecks everywhere. But like, I've never been that person. And I feel like Yinka, you know, he knows me and he has loved me and he has like never really complained about you know my life or my walk of course he has in some areas whenever I actually do need correction but for the most part he supports like my creativity he supports my gifts he supports just like my life in general so I think that um ooh, edges needs to mm -mm -mm. I think that um it really isn't that big of a deal I think that the fear was just like thinking man like I know I'm not the typical like pastor's wife or the the typical image or the um, I don't know demeanor or personality of a pastor's wife typically like this is typically y'all you know I'm very very you know talkative I'm a chatterbox I'm very sociable I love talking to people I love being friendly I love just like being all around like I'm very vocal I'm very opinionated um, I'm very you know I'm, I'm very much so not like quiet in the corner type of girl you know I'm just I've just never been that person really and I feel like that was a huge fear of mine Woo, it is getting warm in here so now I'm going to be going through with my goof proof eyebrow pencil by benefit cosmetics and um, I love this brow pencil y'all it comes with one side being the actual stick and the other side being the spoolie or whatever you want to call it <laughs> little brush um so anyway so that was a huge fear of mine um in seeing okay like now he is the associate college pastor like do i need to change things about my life do i need to you know not behave a certain way in terms of you know my personality do I need to be more quiet do I need to make you know more um, God catered videos or spiritual catered videos instead of like fashion and hair and stuff like that because I love fashion and hair and stuff like that but I feel like that really isn't the case you know I am like really warm I don't know what's going on over here but anyways um, it can sometimes feel like I have to change in a sense but that's not the case either, you know? So I'm really appreciative of my fiance and I'm appreciative of you just the people in the in the ministry, you know, like the team we're working with. Um, and they're very welcoming people and accepting people and they're just great. They're just great people, honestly. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So although the the kind of the pressure is there more so from like maybe like social media you know um what does a pastor's wife say what does a pastor's wife do and i feel like if you kind of like box yourself into that you know mode you can almost become robot like you know like you can almost become not you anymore and it can almost become legalistic in a sense like oh i have to be like this because i'm this like no like i'm a child of god first before i'm a pastor's wife or you know all that good stuff 
<sighs> so, I think just letting that be my standard is always helpful with anything in life. You know, like, I'm a child of God before I'm a social worker. I'm a child of God before I am a wife. I'm a child of God before I am A, B, C, and D. You know what I mean? Like, just continuously using that as my, um, I guess my point of reason to get my be get better bearing on what I'm doing in life at that point. So becoming a pastor's wife or fiance right now has made me very, 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 very busy. <laughs> so oh gosh, it's hot. This is hot in here. We merge both schedules, and because you know, I want to make sure I support him, and I know he wants to also make sure I'm included in what he does. Um, I'm typically like everywhere like I have my schedule and he has his so when he has obligations I typically tend to try to be there but I do know that you know I do have a very busy life and the obligations that I have are are pretty crucial like I'm a full-time grad student I'm currently a full-time worker right now during the summer so I as well have a lot going on in my own life and I'm glad that you know he understands that and he gets that you know as much as I need to support him I also have to make sure I'm doing what I need to do um, as a person as someone who also has dreams and ambitions and goals so that's really really helpful for him to feel that way because it almost kind of felt like in the beginning like oh my gosh like maybe I have to throw my whole life away to you know fully be on board or fully be focused or supportive of what he's doing but that's not true I can definitely still you know have my own goals but also support him and also be involved in what he does the same way he's involved in what I do with YouTube and my life and just stuff like that you know so uh -oh, shouldn't have done that but um but yeah so I'm really thankful for him I'm really thankful for his understanding and also just like us having to communicate about a lot of stuff like like you know just having hard conversations that's always helpful in relationships especially serious relationships have hard conversations those will get you a really really long way because um, you just really want to make sure that um, you're on the same page no one ever wants to be on page you know zero when the other person's on page 50 so communicate it feels better it feels like you're involved it feels like you're cared for it feels like you know you're valued whenever you're on the same page whenever you're able to communicate effectively and talk about things that are bothering you or things that you have concerns about for me my love language is quality time so I love some good quality time um, hanging out with me just you know it could be whatever so Yinka knowing that my love language is quality time tries his best to um, in a sense um, cater to that or include that into his schedule like okay we're gonna have quality time today from this time to this time and then we can go work out and then I can do some work you know so that's really helpful and then I feel like maybe he's not like doing his best or maybe the quality time is diminishing for like many reasons um, I would just definitely just tell him like hey babe you know um, I feel like we haven't really been able to connect in a few days or you know whatever it is and he'll make adjustments and that's what relationships are about like making compromises for the people you love you know for the one you love so I'm really thankful that he does listen and understand that about me um, yeah that's that's pretty great in terms of you know the whole pastoral wife business um, so far so good um, it has definitely been a huge transition for me um, because of, you know, of course, different, different, just, I don't know, just like mindsets too. Like, I'm a huge, huge, huge support for Yinka um, emotionally, mentally, and I love that I am, you know? Um, so when he feels discouraged, I encourage him. When he feels, you know, um, like giving up or when he feels um, doubtful I'm the one who has to like kind of pour into him which I love doing so I don't have a problem with that but I do feel like you know being a pastor's wife kind of will require a lot more of that from me and a lot more understanding on my part as well so that's basically all I have to say it's been a pretty amazing transition pretty exciting for both of us um, and y'all know I love to preach a good word, so I'm not really worried about, you know, having to speak or preach or do stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy for him and for us and for our future, so 
um, that's pretty much it so after doing my little um, contour I went in with the shape tape contour concealer um, in the color tan this is actually finishing up so I need to go ahead and stop playing around and buy a new one or find a better one I don't know but anyways I'm now going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to go ahead and set with this real quick and then I'm going to move on to my next topic for this get ready with me for this lovely get ready with me alright so now I'm going to go in with my contour kit um, in the light to medium Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour palette and um, yeah I'm gonna keep talking I don't know if I'm saying her name right y'all but honestly it's okay it's really okay but anyways um, so now talking about the living to so talking about living a drama free life like I literally aspire to live a drama free life like Give me a drama free life, please. So, anyways, talking about a drama free life, I don't like drama. Um, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of people who bring drama into my life. I'm not a fan of it either. I know, I know, you know, I'm meant to be a peacemaker in all cases, and I don't mind being a peacemaker, of course, although, you know, it takes a lot of humility and takes a lot of intentionality and all that good stuff, but. I don't like drama. I just don't. I don't think anyone should like drama. You know, I feel like people who make drama should not make drama. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, I, I'll just start from like maybe like the beginning. I've lived in a small town ever since I moved to Nigeria um, a few years ago um, to go to high school there. You know, I moved at the age of 14. I was there and then I graduated from high school there and I came back to America and continued my you know my life in college so um, I've lived in a small town I was I went to school in Enugu and then I came to America and I moved to Huntsville for college I went to Sam Houston State University um, and after that I worked for about six months and then after working for about six months I accepted into Baylor for my master's and then I moved to Waco. And if you've ever heard anything about Waco, you're probably like, oh, Chip and Joanna, you know, all that good stuff. But honestly, Waco is like a really small town, but, but, but it is bigger than Huntsville. So to me, it feels like Waco is like low key, like the city, like compared to, compared to Huntsville, y'all, Waco is New York, honestly, like, because because of how small Huntsville was like there's really nothing in Huntsville I wasn't really I, I didn't really care I mean like I said I love small towns so I really didn't care but along with it being a small town I preferred it being small well maybe not wake maybe not maybe not Huntsville and let me just put this liner on so I can talk effectively So of course in college, college is a college town, there's going to be like drama because there's so many college kids and it's just a little town. So of course there was drama in Huntsville, but like not like a lot of drama, but Huntsville is more so like a college town because of how little it is, so there's college kids everywhere. In Waco, I feel like, you know, you can actually live in Waco and not have to see one Baylor kid, depending on where you live. So there's also more universities in Waco, there's like two others along with Baylor, so that kind of makes it more, a little bit more diverse in terms of college population and where they go. Um, but anyways, so coming to Waco um, and just like seeing like it wasn't like too small, it wasn't too big, that really made, that really made a difference and that really made me happy because I'm a very like live a peaceful life kind of person. I'm a very, you know, not wanting to always be on the scene kind of person. So Waco just had all those things to offer me and it was lit. Like I was like, wait a minute, this is what Waco's like. And I just fell in love with how 
aesthetically pleasing but also family friendly and peaceful and reserved the city was. I really really did fall in love with just Waco and just the simplicity of Waco but yet it's very very peaceful like I want vibes energy I don't really know what else to say it but very very peaceful demeanor I don't really know how to put it but just really really a lovely town honestly honestly and the people here are great honestly honestly um, so now I'm gonna be putting on these lashes and they're by the Eiler times Jasmine um, collaboration and I'm gonna be using this in the style dramatic so that's what I'm putting on I love these lashes because they are they are dramatic they like me you know but anyways um yeah so I really love Waco it's very peaceful it's very far from my hometown I guess you'd say like Houston so I do love to visit Houston but I also know I don't want to live in Houston I feel like Houston is just like a hub for Nigerians and I don't mind it being a hub for Nigerians but I know that I wouldn't want to live there because I feel like the Nigerian community in Houston is very small it's not small but it's small by in terms of information if that makes sense so I feel like if you say one thing to someone it's gonna get out and the whole of Houston will hear it and the whole of Houston will talk about you for the rest of your life and that's just not cute to me like I'm all for you know just being friendly and I feel like I don't want to have to keep up you know I feel like living in a fast-paced city like Houston or New York or Cali like even though I'm I, I won't say I'll never live there but I just say I wouldn't really like prefer it just because like it's so fast-paced and um, it kind of makes you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not being enough or it can just kind of feel weird like I don't want to have to feel like I'm you know I need to do more be more you know and then just it's not a good feeling it's just not a good feeling this is this is not working this is <laughs> this is a catastrophe right now but anyways to me Waco is honestly like my favorite because of how peaceful it is of course you know my fiance is here and just I don't know I just really like Waco guys like oh oh let me not forget I love Waco because traffic guys Houston traffic is a mess is a mess is a mess like it's a whole mess so Waco traffic is not like that praise God whom all blessings come from it is not like that so I just you know I tend to go where there's no traffic okay or where there's not a lot of traffic I might keep knocking my eyelash off, dude. Okay, I think it's, I think it's on. Yeah, so, so yeah, so Waco doesn't really have a lot of like traffic or getting from one place to another doesn't take like an hour. Houston. Um, it's very, very, I don't know, convenient, guys. It's very convenient. Um, so I really like it. And then just kind of back to my living a drama stress living a stress-free yeah and a drama-free lifestyle mm -hmm. um, it's just great like you can just live your life in peace sis do you you know you don't have to feel like you have to keep up with the Joneses and I never want to feel like I have to keep up with the Joneses because I don't you don't know if the Joneses are happy you don't know if the Joneses are smuggling money into the country you don't know what they're doing with their life you know so it's like no I don't want to keep up with the Joneses because I don't know what the Joneses are doing I don't live with the Joneses so I don't know what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, so why would I want to keep up with them, you know? I'm only seeing what they're putting out, not what's going on on the inside of their home. So that's not really the goal, you know, to keep up with anyone. Um, so yeah, I just feel like Waco allows me to, this is just like my my happy place, like my peace place, you know? I feel like Houston's like super busy and like, you know, everyone lives there. Well, not everyone, but you know what I mean, like my family, friends, and just people I know, you know? So it's like, I love my privacy. I love the privacy I get in Waco. I love being able to just like, just be, just live, you know? Um, and I love not having to feel the pressure of needing to always be on the scene or have this or be this or have that. So Waco has really, really given me that luxury of peace because Lord knows peace is can be expensive sometimes and um, I'm glad that you know I'm able to afford it 
because Waco isn't expensive at all. So if you're looking for a new place to move to, Waco is the move. Uh, just a shameless plug real quick. But yeah, so that's kind of how um, I feel about Waco. As you can see, I'm a huge uh, fan of Waco. Um, of course, I you know, there's always moments where I'm like, you know, Maybe they could have had or created a Whole Foods, you know, that would have been great. Or maybe they could have had, you know, um, created, um, by the way, I'm using this e.l.f. Um, blush palette. It's the GOAT and it was probably super cheap because, you know, e.l.f. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through with, go in with my MAC bronzer. This is in the color Gold Deposit. Um, so yeah, so of course Waco could have its improvements. It could definitely have, you know, a Whole Foods or it could have, um, I don't know, a Trader Joe's or something, you know, something to keep us healthy out here, but it's okay. I'm still surviving as you can see. Um, and it's just, it just is what it is. Um, but yeah, so Waco has done me well and I am a loyal Wacoian now. <laughs> I'm a loyal Wacoian and um, it's just really been a great place to be. Um, traffic does come because there are thousands of people who visit because of Magnolia. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much um, how I feel about being drama free and why I decided to just make, make, make Waco my, I guess, home. Um, and whenever me and my fiance get married, we have like decided to stay in Waco because we really think that it's a great place to raise little babies, little chocolate babies. And um, of course his work and then of course I graduate next year for my master's program so it'll be good for me too. Whew, I feel like I've been talking forever. But anyways, I'm finishing up now so I'm gonna use my love bug in the ColourPop uh, matte. This is like the matte collection, but I'm gonna be using this love bug to give me a red look. I don't know which one to use, but I think I want to go with. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with this one and just like. Let's see. Hold on. Huh, yeah, I'll do this. This is fine. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my love bug instead of the Rogue Royal. <sighs> okay, so I think everything is good. Um, I did not completely forgot to clean up my eyebrows. So I'm going to quickly do that with my Pro Concealer in Fawn, the color Fawn. But anyway, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about um, living drama free, y'all. Like, it will bless you. And my life is drama free. I don't have people in my business 24 hours, you know, trying to figure out the next move or whatever it is. I just love it. I love it so much, y'all. Like, just try living in a place, a small town for a little bit and you'll see how much it will bless you. Like. I, I always like will plan to like go to Dallas like for events and stuff and like do stuff in Dallas and you know like I still want to be accessible in a sense or able to get to big cities because I don't mind going to big cities I just don't think I want to live in a big city and that's kind of where I'm at right now mentally I guess maybe later on in life I'll be like oh big city please give me a big, big city you know I don't know we'll see so that's really just the, the fun thing about life. You just grow up sometimes. All right, we are wrapping it up. About the con about these lashes is that they're so heavy. So like, you have to like make sure they're on, like on, on, you know? So I typically have to like re-glue something because they just kind of like lift up. Like, like, who asked you to be lifting up anyhow? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and 
unravel my little twist belts up here just to not make this video any longer than it needs to be I'm just going to do my hair off camera real quick and then come back with the finished look so stay tuned for that um, so yeah I will be right back all right so this is the finished look um, like I said we are going to like a park and they're gonna have like food trucks and fireworks and I just wanted to go for more of a summery look but also kind of incorporate some of the independence the colors into my outfit um, yeah I got this rumper for 10 bucks um, if you do not follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram I will most likely be posting a picture with this outfit on and I will leave the deets on insta so make sure you're following me there if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this get ready with me video and want to see more give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below what do you think of it let me know in the comment section below and if i use anything that i did not mention or label in this video i will put it in my description bar below so make sure you check that out thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed join the fam because we are lit so anyways um i will see you guys next time in another video on my channel and until then bye i completely forgot to show you guys what i finished up my makeup with i did go ahead and put on some urban decay makeup setting spray and this is the oil free oil control um setting spray so yo it says temperature control technology i live in texas and control all the temperatures okay like oh okay, control all of them because it's it gets really hot out here like like melt your makeup off hot like it gets really hot out here so praise god for the blessing that urban decay has been to me and my fellow texans um yeah so it's the d slick um urban decay setting spray um it's quite costly so yeah um just gotta you know budget well and uh save up for it or whatever or you know so uh yeah that's that's that